Dyer, two pretty big weeks coming up and when you looked at the calendar they were always going to be pretty important. Yeah, I think when you looked at obviously when the pool uh, was drawn really and realised um, you know, we had to play. The, these middle, the middle two games are hugely important. The back-to-back -back games are, are always really difficult, and it's certainly going to be a great game to watch. Great game, uh, you know, for all the fans. Really, you've got two teams that want to play rugby. Um, both teams will go into this knowing if you know if you can get two wins out of this, it, you're in a very strong position. Then you pretty much go one foot in the in the next round. Really, flip side of that really is, as you said, if you get two losses, it's um, it's going to be hard hard to come back. Really, but one game at a time. You know, we got off, uh, the home game, so uh, we all know how important it is to, to win the home game. So we, you know, we're just going to focus on that uh, for the time being, really. And if we can get that uh, the win, you know, and, and a good result and a good performance on the home games only going to breed a bit of confidence and uh, belief going into the away game because it's a difficult place to go on and, and try and get a win. We go into them with a bit of momentum with the past two weeks after what was pretty disappointing against Gloucester, but the boys bounced back well and back those two results up going into Europe. Yeah, I thought, you know, I was really pleased with last week's uh, uh, performance really I think you know we had a lot of star players out a lot of you know, guys that's played a lot of rugby for us um, I was a little bit concerned uh, prior to last week that you know we weren't really demonstrating that we got a real steely edge um, and I think everyone's seen you know how we can play and the quality we can play and we play some scintillating stuff on occasions but we've been a little bit soft in allowing points in you know especially uh, when we've gone a couple of scores up you know we've given away far too many points really so it was really pleasing to go into uh, last week's game and and for everyone to show how much and uh, pride they got in the defense because we didn't have much ball on occasions and we were up against it but uh, it was a fantastic win and obviously on the back of that as well you know, a lot of guys that hadn't had much rugby got an opportunity to get some rugby and you know give me some headaches and selection really. We've been hit with a few injuries in recent weeks and you'll be hoping that a few of those guys will be coming back into the mix. Yeah, I'm hoping that you know we, uh, last week we had a lot of little niggles you know in, in Christian Wade he, he probably touch and go for the first game but I'm sure he'd be right for the second game. Obviously Danny Cipriani probably touch and go for the first game but definitely okay for the second game. Jimmy Gosbeth I think you know should be okay uh, for the first game. Matt Simmons very similar touch and go for the first game but you know um, you know definitely okay for the second game. And obviously Joel Launchbury coming back into the mix and Nathan Hughes after the Autumn Internationals. Um, and, you know, so and Kirtley Beale, hopefully, if he comes through this week, we'll, uh, you know, we, we'll get him out to the field. We're really excited about that. But as I said, he's very close to it now. So fingers crossed, he'll come through this week. And if he comes through early part this week, and you know, he's feeling confident, obviously, you know, we'll um, we'll get him out to the field because we're all excited about uh, seeing what he can do for us. I don't lose too much sleep about injuries. Obviously, when you come to Europe, you want to get somewhere near which is perceived your best team out on the field but you know from in a league situation really you know you've got to have injuries at some point and you know you, you've got to deal with it and it's pretty much my squad I've signed this everyone here I've signed so you know I pretty much put my name on every one of them I, I believe that every one of this squad can do a job unfortunately you can't pick you know you can only pick 23 and there's going to be guys disappointed um, but you know the quality we've got in our squad really forces people to play well but, you know, just showed on the weekend that we got a squad that's more than happy to roll their sleeves up and when called upon, go out and deliver.